Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Um, we're giving you a bonus video today. It's Sunday afternoon right now. Yep. We've got a really limited amount of time. The kids are due at home any minute. Um, so we thought we'd have a quick chat, give you a bit of a update. Brief update. A very brief update. Yes. And we also have a question um, to answer that we keep getting answered. So we'll start off with update, Florida update. I've just realized my slippers are on the wrong feet. Um, weight Isn't loss. Update. Weight loss, we're doing really well. Mm. Yep. It's um, suddenly, would you say this past few days it seems to be coming off? We keep filming and saying no, we haven't lost any, or we've lost two and then gained two. It's just been yeah. I think it's a case of after changing things for a couple of weeks, it does start to kick off. So that's good. So we'll keep that going. You walked so, last week, not this week. Last week you did thirty miles. Yeah, twenty-eight this week. Mm. So and we've been trying to go out sort of like. I'll tell you, probably a good two-thirds of that has been proper walking as well. Power walk. You did, even well. did one in the rain this week. Yeah, didn't it was you? horrible. We've been trying to go together like at least three miles. We did three and a half miles this morning. Mm. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm um, the Funky Fairy. I post sort of regular updates about what we're eating and walks and all that kind of thing. Getting fit for Florida. <coughs> yep. Which is what we're trying to do. Yeah. But no, it's going really well, and we've had a really good food week. And actually, tomorrow's video. Um, I've actually filmed what we've eaten this last week and it's been a really good week, haven't mm. we? I've tried loads of new recipes and I know a few of you have asked me for the recipes for certain things I've cooked this week and um, they'll be on the video tomorrow. So if you don't subscribe, um, you can just click there and you get... Any other updates in regards to the trip? We've done we, a bit more trip planning, didn't we? We planned our... Prop we properly planned our Disney World mm. itinerary last week. We'll do a separate video on that. We've got a list of the fast passes that we want to book yep so we know that we booked a Viennapoli ADR this week as well okay which we're quite excited about I've been dying to try their pizza now I wanted to talk about the question that we get asked all the time would we stay at the Grove Resort again can I start this one yeah go on then um uh, I would it's a brief video remember I know it's okay <laughs> it's it's not not the cheapest place to say in regard to the whole idea behind it, absolutely love it. Uh, for us going as a family of four, the three bed, three bath, with brilliant. Teenagers, with ideally. teenagers, yeah, or, even if, own... or even if you're going with with uh, uh, another couple or mm. things like that, you've got your own space. Um, you can have the option of three bath, three bed, two bath, etc., etc. So the kids had a double bed each, which was ideal. Exactly. So I'd say in that sense, is brilliant. Full kitchen, nice new. Uh, I mean, I don't think you necessarily get a bad view from any of the rooms, but I no. would say. There's almost like three, what do you call them? Towers. Towers. Uh, we're in, well, we should have been in Tower 3 from the first, which is the one if you're in a certain place you can get fireworks view. If you're in that tower, brilliant. It's easy to navigate out of, um, down to the lobby, etc. Mm -hmm. I'd say easy if you're in, to get to the pool. If you're in one of the other towers, we actually. Good luck. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we got, we never worked out the easiest way to get down. There didn't seem to be a great deal of signage. Every, there was a lot of concrete kind of corridors. Walking um, through car parks. And you just didn't know kind of where you were going it to have, and coming back. It could have back. improved. It is nearly a year on. And, and it, also that build, that, that tower build, had that, literally, that just, had literally opened. just opened. Yeah. So I don't want to put anything no. down or put anyone off. It could be that it's improved. It could have been that it was teething problems yeah. when we were staying there. I think we were the first in our condo because we had to take all the packaging off everything. The kettle, the toaster, we had to, you had to like plug that, all the yeah, TVs yeah, in, in, didn't in, you? in Tower 2, literally yeah, opened. But, the all, first tower. But, but also we shouldn't have been in there in the first place but They'd at the same mistake. same time the windows were filthy on the outside and i'm not saying just dirt it was actually where the plaster. builders decorators plaster paint bath had uh, a paint in it etc so we well first of all, we didn't have the right room because of the view mm. but secondly because of that we were then moved after four days um the manager that we were working with i think stephen his name was really good uh it, it, but then i think because we were on a road trip we had four days that we felt we couldn't unpack so for me i was just unsettled until we moved and then when we did move they moved everything for us but it was again another day that we felt was kind of a bit lost because we had to make sure we were packed up and then we had to unpack again we had to wait around we expected them to call us earlier yeah to say the exactly. room was ready and it wasn't ready till about five or six o'clock in the end so the afternoon we were just waiting around yeah no i think one part but the your, actual resort babe. the resort was really I, I enjoyed the resort but there wasn't much atmosphere i personally just felt it was a nice hotel mm. i didn't feel like i was in disney or orlando 
Um, I know that you're not going to get all the Disney feels. I totally know that. Um, but music around the pool would be nice. It would be lovely to not spend $25 on a cocktail at 2 minutes to 10 and sit there and have the shutters. It was literally like a scene out of um, Get Me Out of Here. Celebrity, I'm, I'm a celebrity, yeah. get me out of here. And the shutters come down. It was like that. We hadn't even picked up our drinks and the shutters came down. This was in no, August, wasn't yeah. it? And it no, was ten, July, the end July, of July. Nobody was in the bar. The bar we never saw a bartender in the indoor bar. It was just strange. There was just zero atmosphere. We did go down a few days later and there was some music and we went down with the children to have a bite to eat, just some starters and yeah, a couple evening. of drinks. And it was better. <laughs> and, was that and... Scottish? Was he Scottish? This yeah. kid that sat he, he there would have been wearing that, um... and played his guitar the whole time. Really yeah. loud. I think the staff were getting a little bit annoyed with it, weren't they? We asked to have our, we asked to move, move tables. Table. He did our heads. But anyway, in. we're keeping but, this one yeah. brief. Yeah. That's another time. But I'd say there's a few things there, and you could say, well, okay, team problems. But it's also when you're opening something like that, you need to have also, that feel of an atmosphere. When you're spending four thousand mm. dollars at a resort, you, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I, I don't think I would, if I'm really honest. I think. There's better resorts. I love the location, love the location. The gardens are beautiful, the condos are beautiful, but I, I think don't know. if if you for, <coughs> for me, we've we've said Bahama Bay and loved it. If I got a good but, deal I would. For Karen? Yeah. Okay. Um at Bahama Bay, we've loved that for years. The, our last experience there wasn't the greatest, but then again, that could have been exactly our room, the trees overgrown, etc., etc. No, because we went back to have a nose last time, and it was still all. No, no, but there could be somewhere else that we. Uh, there could be another. Anyway, there could yeah. be another room. But I think I like the idea, the fact of having your own space. You've also got the ability to walk downstairs and go and grab. Uh, food, order a pizza, That's something ice we cream. did love at the Grove, actually. And, and I'd say, yeah, the no, okay, are a lot great. of people say, okay, have grab, get a villa. Um, and great, okay, but then I feel you haven't got that ability to be able to just go and grab a coffee, mm. um, have room service. We had that, that pizza delivered. But then I guess you could have Domino's delivered. Yeah, you could, you could yeah. do. Um, but I think also for some people, a hotel is, especially if it's a long time, if you want to do your washing and other bits and pieces, um, a hotel room isn't ideal. Mm. Um, I think having the washing facilities, the kitchen was great. Um, I think it's just, it was a lot of money, I think. For yeah, if you get, I mean, we got a deal as well because, because it wasn't it, it, kind of fully open, yeah, was it? When we looked around, um, Safari was open, the pool. No, it wasn't. Oh, when we arrived, when we arrived yeah, not yeah. when we booked it. Can I say something else yeah. actually that really made a big difference to me? I felt very closed in. Um, lovely that you can look out from the balcony, but because it took so long to step outside your front door, you're in corridors to then get anywhere, yeah. you're in concrete corridors. I felt very enclosed. I couldn't just go outside. Whereas when we've stayed in Bahama Bay, you open the front door, you're like on that veranda, you're, you're outside. outside, your car's there. Um, I guess at Disney though, you've still got corridors. Yeah, well yeah, you but, look, when we said the beach club. But they're pretty corridors, when, that's the thing. When at beach club, we started to walk. But I just felt like I, it would, took so long to actually get outside to the fresh air and actually see something pretty. I didn't like being in those concrete corridors. And um, we're right up on the seventh floor. Um, was it seventh or sixth? Which of the top floor. And the way the car park was designed was great in the fact that you parked on your floor, which um, was was brilliant. The car park's kind of the central. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> um, but that was great. But then up on the seventh floor, it did seem to take forever to drive up there. It wasn't the widest. We had obviously a large SUV, so it wasn't the nicest of drive going up and down. Also, it felt like it was almost ten minutes just trying to drive down we all the ramps, ramps to, to get to the bottom. Having but, to give way to people because but, it was just enough space for But there was car. no hassle of getting your cases in and no, out. That's so true. you're shopping in and out. Whereas I know when we've stayed at like Universal and also Disney, your car could be half yeah, a mile away. that's true as well. And so it's a case you've got a big pack of water or something else you've got to carry. That's, so that was good. So I kind of feel the idea behind that was nice. Mm. There are just pros and cons with everything. We liked it. There um, really are. But I think just a bit of atmosphere, I think. But it could have improved. So don't go by what we say. It, you could stay there and have the best time. But I think so the location many people, is good, I think. The location is brilliant. Yeah. So many people leave messages on my YouTube videos saying they love it. 
One thing we're going to say as well, and this is something you reminded me of earlier, um, your experience is the fact that if you're going to go, again, this could have improved. I, well, I don't know how it could have improved. What's that? Is if you're going to go there, it does say that you there are shuttle services. Oh, yes. But I would say uh, in your experience... I mean, how long did it take you to get from the resort to... We went to Animal Kingdom an hour and a half. Now, to drive, would that take... 15 minutes. 15 minutes. But the problem is, it does have a free shuttle service. We got... Holly and I used it the once. The boys were watching the World Cup. We got chatting to another family from California that was staying there because of the free shuttle service. They didn't have a car. And um, they were um, a bit unlucky, really. You... The first shuttle i think left about nine ish so the parks had already opened it was like 10 past nine or something but it literally takes you to the ttc the um bus ticket um, transportation yeah center. sorry yeah at magic uh, sort of near magic kingdom but then you have to either like get get over like the monorail to epcot the monorail to um magic kingdom or there's there wasn't a bus service there either wherever it dropped us off. So we got the monorail to Epcot to then get the bus to Animal Kingdom. But the last one coming back was something like seven o'clock or eight mm. o'clock. So you can't then stay for fireworks or anything like but, that. But check that again before you book, because mm. if you're not driving, again, that could have changed. This was a year ago. Yeah, it was July. So it could be that, that, uh, there's, there's, that, that has changed. We don't know. But that, from your experience, it was a case of you wouldn't do that again. It was great for us because you picked us up in the afternoon. Yeah. Holly and I were in no hurry. I'll link all our videos up below actually. We've got a playlist from our trip last year and there's also like different Grove Resort um, tours. So I'll link those up for um, below for you. I can't give it a, a negative review because we did really like it. It's a lovely hotel like I say, but for us it just lacked the atmosphere. And funnily enough, we'd watched videos before we went and that, said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly, that there was no atmosphere. And I wonder, is it from staying at a Disney resort or like the Universal mm -hmm. that you then go and stay somewhere like that? And it's not just magic, there is just no atmosphere. But like I said, I would love to hear actually, if anyone's staying after we've stayed, if you've recently stayed, please let us know if that's changed. There was music in reception in the lobby, um, but I would love to know actually, like around the pool, in the bars, have things improved it, like we said it just literally opened when we stayed the only other thing as well I think changed for us as well is the fact that we went into holiday last time with thinking we were not going to miss disney staying in disney although we had a couple of nights booked mm. we just thought well great this can be brilliant we had a look around before and thought perfect location perfect place we're really going to enjoy this but then i think also having them stayed at beach club was it the year before when it's when we were there, we've actually now to the point of realised that staying on Disney obviously is important for us. Hence DVC. That, that I must say, had we not have stayed at the Grove, we probably wouldn't have joined DVC. Well, DVC. whether it be the Grove, I think even if we gone back to Palmer Bay, mm. we would have done it. But I thought it was more the fact we, I think, having gone back to somewhere non-Disney. Mm it made us realize for example at the beach club it was great the fact of us walking out in the morning grabbing joffrey's coffee and a cake going and to epcot. going to epcot walk into epcot uh boardwalk um actually being immersed in it not it's not all about the rides but it's just being immersed in that experience and for us the convenience of being where we are and hence our trip coming up we have said where we're staying haven't we yeah bay lake being there and the thought of being able to walk into magic kingdom 10 mm. minutes not have to go through ticket and transportation. Um, I wanted to add something else yes, actually. Sorry. I know loads of people love villas. We've never stayed in a villa before, but I would love to know what's your ideal location when you're in Florida? Where do you stay? Are you Disney? Do you prefer hotels, um, resorts? Do you prefer villas? Let us know. But we are actually trying a villa for the first time in California. Yep. We've got, I think six nights booked. Yep. Um, we're like a 20 minute walk to the Disneyland Hotel. So we're really close and we do plan to walk as well, might get Ubers back or something. But it's the first time we're actually staying somewhere with our own pool. So it's kind of like a bit of a test because although we're DVC members, it could be in future holidays if we want a longer stay. We stay on site for maybe 10 days, something like that. And then but we then, do it a week, two yeah, weeks in, in a, a villa. villa. So we are looking forward to trying that and seeing because it could be that actually our views change and we do quite like staying yeah. with our own pool. And also any recommendations. I know you said oh, yeah, to, any recommendations idea. of... Mm. 
places you have stayed, companies you've used as well. Yeah, because villas, anything like in that. In Florida, because friends of ours have stayed um, and they love it. So I think in some ways that would also keep our cost um, down a little bit. So yeah, yeah any recommendation of actual companies and yes. locations to stay? But let's close this video. Kids are due home anytime. What is the time? It is 25, oh, 25 past four. four so. Thank you very much for watching this bonus video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope we've answered your questions. Like and subscribe. Oh, you're getting good that's, at this, babe. That's a lot shorter than you do it normally. Oh, thank you. Um, but yes, please like the video if you found it helpful. Really if you've enjoyed it. You didn't do it in my tone though, babe. Oh, sorry. And um, please subscribe if you are new. And like I said, you can... Um, Find us on Instagram as well at the Funky Fairy. Please share this video if you think somebody else will find it helpful. Thank you very much. And tomorrow we're talking, or I'm talking weight loss. Um, I'm doing all my cooking and all that kind of thing. So that's tomorrow's video. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.